everything about what you do. I don't even rap. So what is this? K-pop bitch, yeah. I'm already ready. I kind of figured since it only had like five more minutes left, I might as well turn the camera on and get things ready. I've been up waiting on this song since 12. I took a nap. Normally, I stay up. Sometimes I take naps. But I am so confuzzled because I was told that this is going to be coming out at 4, which is 6 p.m. Korea time. But I could have sworn a lot of the releases that I stay up for was anywhere from like 5 to 6 in the morning, my time, I'm in the Eastern time zone. I don't know. I could be completely tripping. Maybe after midnight, everything is just a blur. I don't know, but this is a great week. You know, we have Weathering With You, another Shenkai film. Great. If you guys haven't seen it, they're doing their fan preview screenings right now. You guys should definitely go check that out. We just had Tay help a army off of Weverse, which is crazy. Get a blood donor, which is just so kind and so thoughtful and helpful. Somebody using their platform, you know, they use their platform for the greatest things. And then they're so in their bag that they gave us no information whatsoever about this single. It gets an art film and then they have the nerve to just say, well, once you listen to the song and see the film, then you'll know why everything is the way it is. Like we're doing everything for our reason and you'll know once you see it. Like this is about to be crazy, bro. This is about to be nuts. And to even think that on top of a single that we're about to get, we're getting a film. And then literally next month, we still get another song, which is what the intro or the interlude or no, the outro. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I am excited for it. And it's 3.58. We have two minutes left. All I'm doing is waiting on a notification. So I am going to bring up the Chrome, the Google Chrome and get ready if you guys have been waiting on this. Oh my gosh, what have you guys been doing to pass time? What makes this different is everything is different and I don't know how to feel about it. So I'm just about to sit here for a minute. I'm gonna grab my phone. You guys get ready because something. It's already 3.59, so I don't know really why I grabbed my phone. Oh, because this is why I get my notifications. Okay, so yeah, we're just waiting, bro. It's crazy. You know, 10 minutes is trending on Twitter right now. It's just so much going on, dude. And it's already about to be oh come on dude come on dude oh and and not to mention they're also funding 22 art installations around the world and having connect bts going on connecting other artists to their message and their music just so much is going on right now so much to keep up with so much that just shows how into this shit they really are it's it's coming are, are they here where's it at there it is y'all we have a film called black swan performed by the company. I don't see anything regarding a single just yet. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. I mean, it kind of said to watch, to listen to the song and then watch the film. I, I, I don't know. It said listen to the song first. It said listen to the song and see the film, then you'll know why. So is that the, is that the order? Like, is that what's going on? I don't know. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and get it. A dancer dies twice, once when they stop dancing and this first death is more painful because their passion. They stop dancing because their passion, their dream has come to a halt. That's how I'm taking it. So they're saying you losing that dream, that will to live, that purpose, that passion hurts more than dying, like physically losing that body. Okay, now we got the guy that's shirtless. I'm assuming he gonna be the main thing. I like the reflection going on. Nice composition, yo. But it's really dramatic right now, so I don't even think I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my mouth. This is gonna be like some interpretive dancing or something. And if this wasn't BTS, I probably would have smiled from hearing his hand smack against his back. Whoa, they got a cameraman all the way over there. He's lonely. Now they done found this massive abandoned garage. Do you? Hold on. This is... <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Deuced by P-Dog, RM... August Rigo, Vince Nantes, and Clyde Kelly. This is the single. 
I thought it was going to be a whole separate thing. But for them saying, do your thing, do your thing, that's probably, you know, do your thing, follow your dream. They're like, what's my dream? Tell me. Bro, why has this got like a trap feel? The lyrics at least. Do your thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, bro. Oh my god. Oh, that will be my first day. Okay. Playing on that quote. The Eddies. It's got a Travis Scott feel to it. I'm not gonna lie to you, their vocals. Flexible man. I hear you. Oh, that's fire. It me now. Though we may have to watch this twice, probably, bro. Because trying to watch this dude dance and look at the lyrics or something. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry, my phone rang. They're in all black, which is reminding me of Shadow and, you know, obviously a bunch of other things. Their Shadow is that I, I can't even tell you. I, I don't know. Now this style of dancing is completely out of my realm of knowledge. So I, I truly don't even know. And, and I know this isn't even helpful for like a reaction and opinion video, but I truly don't even know how to comment on this style of dancing. So I won't. his head for a good moment look at their grip their grip is this way they're not holding him up like this they're just touching his legs that man is just sitting on his head oh concrete See, he's defending himself against them. That's why I was saying it's like, I don't know. Bro, they're really wilding for this one, though. This is not only a curveball of events, schedules, occurrences, but with this sound, like is this, is this the complete single? If so, I don't know what this album is looking like, bro. Fly like a butterfly.
I just slow? I, I don't understand. I don't get it. Y'all, pl- I don't get it. I feel like, I feel like I don't even, I don't even know. This is how we're about to go down. Let's jump into this song. Okay, look, we're gonna jump into this song. And then, and then I'm gonna go back to that film. Okay, because this whole sound here, the strings are beautiful. The dancing, it was captivating, though I didn't understand it. So I want to go back. I want to listen to the song fully, unless I already did. I'm going to listen to the song fully, and then I'm going to go back to the film. I'm going to see what I can what I can get from that. I, I have to. See, it's got like a trap feel, kind of. Let's see if we can get it on Genius with the lyrics. Too fast. Oh, no? Oh, it's Korean. Okay. Sounds so much better just the song. Like it's filling my headphones up. The RM really do come in like trash. This is what I meant during that film. I'm like, this has kind of like a like a hypey upbeat, but it didn't with the the slowness of the dances. I guess I don't know. It didn't make it feel like it was appropriate to bounce like this. But with the song isolated. It's, it's gonna need to be a lot of discussion down below. Listen, I'ma need it. I'ma need it. And crazy thing is, without the lyrics, well, the lyrics were in the film, so I'd have to watch the film again like I planned on doing. But see, the thing is, the other day I was just thinking, like, they literally make the most unique music. Like, not just because I started with them, not because they're my favorite group but because their music sounds like no other not only did i never hear any type of sound coming from a k-pop group like this but i've never heard a song like this period like it it feels like classical but modern and and hype and like i said kind of trap like it feels like travis scott i don't know if i feel travis scott i think this 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 quote here at the beginning is the whole moral of this film that's what the dancers are portraying and that's not you know that should be a given probably because i'm sure that's why it's there for those who don't know this style of dance or those who don't dance i feel like it's going to be pretty difficult for you to 
I guess, understand unless you watch people dance through storytelling often. I'm not one of those people. I can say that they took my attention up the whole time they danced. I mean, minus him doing that little smack on the back. Almost made me laugh. It is kind of funny. But I'm, I want to be able to look at, at him and see if I can see the quote. You know, see when his passion is getting taken away from him, when he has to stop dancing or something, and see. I feel like dancers may be able to relate more. Because otherwise, I just feel like everybody's just going to be like, look, I don't know what's going on right now, but this is beautiful. It's beautiful. You know what I mean? See... Look, now now that reminded me of when he started to flap his wings at the end. Like, that was one, and that was another wing. And then at the end, he was doing it by himself. I don't know. Trying to pull up. Let him pull up. Look, and that's like a death. Maybe it's not. I could be completely wrong with this, y'all. I'm just trying out here. No song affects me anymore. So he's dead. He's limp because he has to stop dancing. But what is up with this cage? Is that the rut? I could get that. But this is this part confused me during the first watch as well because it sounds like he's saying filling me now and I low key think that that is why they said it like that too. Like are you filling it are you filling it are you filling him now? But it says film it now. It says killing me now, film it now. Is that you know like another thing? People's downfalls are always filmed, always put on headlines. Do you hear me? So I, I'm really just wondering, like, and it's their fault that I'm overthinking if I'm overthinking anything. <laughs> like, honestly, they're making me think more than I thought in school, I feel like. like Me too. Okay, but hold on. I like how they use this reflection shot here to, to actually see what's going on. So... Are those people his feet? Mm -mm. This one's beyond me. I'm going to be the first to admit it, yo. And it feels creepy as well. Eerie. What I can say, though, is that this dude does have really great body control. Like, he, he got down and he got straight into his center when he put in that headstand and he did the splits. Reverse T-style or T-style. It's wild. I don't know, man. But... Right there. Look how still he is. That reminds me of when, uh, who was it? Who was it did that slow roll? I don't remember if what song it was. I don't know who it was. That's what it reminded me of because they're controlling themselves like that. That 
that part's hype, low key. <laughs> See, that's emotional sound right there. And then it ends. Guys. It, literally, guys. Help. <laughs> Help. I'm trying to comprehend the storytelling and see where the lyrics pair to the dances. I'd like to know how you guys feel. Honestly, though, song on its own being super unique like that the mixing filled my ears i really like that it did have that like i said it was so unique i've never heard like a classical sounding song with like a modern auto tuny vibe to it despite me even you know knowing that genre i'd bump that song despite who made it so i'm gonna give it a nine i'm gonna give it a nine it filled my ears up this is something that I feel like is you walk into an art museum and you look on the wall and there's just one screen in a room. There's no information at all. It just says Black Swan. You sit down, you watch it, and you leave. Hopefully, if you guys were confused, you guys could be confused with me. Or maybe if you weren't confused, let me know down below in the comment section. I'm about to edit this video, hop into bed. But I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. As well as everybody who was waiting on the Twice video I actually had a pretty rough evening tonight. But I will have a Twice video up for you guys tomorrow. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.